One, two, three, cheers. Oh, that was so good. So refreshing. Being good to my body. Anywho, I'm updating you all on this um, episode about my 30-day no sugar detox challenge. I don't know if, you know, some of you may not know. And if you're new to listening, you'll get informed now. But I've, uh, as of June, I started the 30-day no sugar detox challenge because sugar is my biggest weakness when it comes to my health. And um, I needed to detox because since I've been here in Delaware, I was just eating like brownies from Wawa, like two, three a day I was ordering. I was having a Sprite soda like every single day going through uh, a liter and just, uh, it, I was waking up to it like it was coffee and just throughout the day I, that acid was just giving me some kind of rush. I don't know what my body was missing or needing, but I thought, let me um, change this because um as I mentioned, I had uh, a family member who had a a uh, major stroke, and um, it just really brought me back to when I had a stroke about uh, 17 years ago, and I gave up cigarettes at that time. I gave up the hard liquor, and I started exercising, but you know, my health and my weight has been a yo-yo. I can admit to that. It's been up and down, up and down for years. And I'm just wanting to, at this old, mature, seasoned age, in my 50s, want to get it right. Because, you know, as time goes and years go, it doesn't get easy to lose the weight. So it's now or never, and I'm really more committed than I've ever been. And that's why I've extended my challenge from 30 days to 90 days, because I know If I had ended it, I would have first off rewarded myself, which would have been horrible. And I would have uh, started implementing cheat days every weekend, which I'm no longer going to do. I want to save those days for when I'm out or going to a concert, traveling, or just more than just having to cheat because um, it's the weekend. It's Saturday. I have to program myself because I've noticed that what triggers me to fall back is that uh, like I said I'll have a cheat day that cheat day will be on a Saturday my sister Brandy had um, given me some good advice and says you know when you have a cheat day just cheat with one thing not the entire day going from here to there eating this and that so I'll definitely implement that if I want to cheat it'll just be one thing that I'll cheat with not the entire day to cheat and um My sister also told me another thing that I know is true about myself. If it's healthy, I will eat it like it's just okay. And I will eat a whole bag of something or, you know.